Alright guys, welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Warband. And today, in today's episode, we have a special couple little tips here that we're going to perform. So I can show you that you actually have the options, guys, to... So it's that time to get married. And we have the options of, say, one of these lords that serve under us. We could approach them. They like us enough. We could start the courting process, which is probably going to be a combination of a couple of different quests, certain requirements they may have to meet their agreements, basically, to get married. There's also another way, too, guys, and you can skip all of the lords, if you like, and say one of your companions, like, say, Borsha, Behester, I'm a female this time, so I have to go with the guys, but Borsha, Behester, Artemenor, Ferentis, I can't use Leslid, unfortunately, because I'm using him as Steward of Durham, where my main, <coughs> where my main court is. Um, I could make him a lord and then maybe marry him, but uh, I have these gentlemen right here, and for the sake of time consumption, let's just get on with it. We're going to select Artemenor, and we're going to talk to Artemenor. Now, first we have to make Artemenor a lord, guys, and that's how you do this. So, we're going to go to... <clears throat> I want to ask you something and we're gonna ask him if he wants to if he's interested in holding a fife which one did we have in mind well how about sir just for the sake of it how about you know we'll put you in a castle how about that about the Chero's castle that's of course gonna pee off all of my lords of course it is why wouldn't it he's got this to say well my lady uh, that's gracious Saxon marks you have of the kind of monarch who can save the sorry land from the incompetence of the current batch. I suspect a lot of the noble lords around here will think that a commoner like isn't fit to hold a fife. Well, then we'll see what I can do with it and what revenues I can bring in and they'll change their tune is what Artemenor has to say. Now... We have to wait for him to spawn in the castle now. So we're going to have to wait some time out. I mean, just going over here is not going to do it, I don't think. Like, a day needs to pass or something. Like, even if I ask these lords, they, they probably won't even know where he is. So he's not there yet. But say, if I was to come down here, <clears throat> it's a new day now. <clears throat> And if we can catch up to this lord, who's patrolling quite extensively outside of Durham, I'd have to say, and ask him if you'll stop, Garshmal. Thank you. And we can ask him where someone is, Artemenor. He doesn't know where Artemenor is yet, meaning Artemenor hasn't spawned back in yet guys to the castle where he is now a lord so he ha can have men under his command he has not any yet so he's going to spawn in this castle he's not at durham and so we just literally have to wait it out so we're just going to kind of ride around for a minute kind of let this day pass and then maybe that'll be enough time for the second tip Alright, a little bit of Mooney there. It's always nice. So we can, in fact, speed time up. We are in a time of peace right now. Our faction is. Um, for a official update of that, we pretty much command all of the middle of the map now, where Swadia and the Nords basically had um, possession. Nords are hanging in there with one little city or one little town over there <clears throat> in Seed Raider country. But uh, that's it. They're just hanging by a thread. We've taken the Swadians out. They are officially done. So go to Notes, guys. Faction, go to Swadia. 
they are done. They've been defeated. They are no more. We we did that. <clears throat> and we took their land. Okay, so this is Garishmo again. I'm not going to bother asking him. I know Artemider's not in um, Durham either. We've got a border incident here. Hmm. Looks like my people are harassing the Serenids, possibly, without me knowing about it. So we basically, we want the next day to roll over. So we're going to let that happen. Anytime now, late night. Anytime now. Excellent. Now it's dawn of the next day. Artementer should be here soon in this castle. And he is not yet. So we'll give it a little bit longer. And why not? We'll level up our men while we're waiting. We'll do our usual grind as if it's just another day in Calradia. And so you've seen how easy it was to make Artementer a lord. You can make any of your companions lords. Now, with that being said, I, I, I recommend, I highly recommend you think twice about that. Because making them a lord means they're a whiny little lord now and so you already know how if you've played the game how the lords are with giving out territories they get they get really butthurt some of them will even leave your faction they'll they'll resent you they'll hate you at some point eventually if you don't give them territory over other lords <laughs> and your companions can act the same way guys like they can they can definitely get mad at you. I've, I've had scenarios where they have left left my faction. A companion that I recruited that was beside me through all my battles, a brother in arms, so to speak, a sister in arms, what have you, and uh, they wound up getting so upset with me that they left the faction, just like lords have in this playthrough multiple times we've we've had at least a handful of lords get mad at us and leave the faction some almost start out that way immediately they'll they'll have a lower appreciation for you but in the positive you make one bad you you know you give a fife to somebody else and then they just don't like you and they continue to not like you until they basically just succeed from your faction so i'm just letting the day roll over again is what I'm doing here, guys. Matter of fact, we can we can camp it out, and uh, that'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, excellent. Now let's head over to Dunchuros and see if we can find ourselves an Artementer, so we can proceed with tip number two. Artemeter is in fact in there now. He has 65 men. Not bad. Not bad, Artemeter. We're going to go in here and we're going to talk to him now. Going to go to the Lord's Hall, which is Artemeter's. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome for your free castle and uh, lordship. Just like, bam, done. I mean, you have served me well all of these years, so... It's the least I could do. He is supportive. So, yes, Milady. It was a great fight against Belaru. Yes, it was. All right, so we want to talk to him again. Ask him something. And we want to... What would it be to cement our alliance with your house? Are you proposing for marriage? Yes, I'm proposing. Lady of a wonderful, great spirit and yada yada. I'm fantastic. He loves me. Okay, supposed to the next step would be to send a message to your family. Now, seeing how we don't have any in this region of Calradia, he cannot. So, therefore, yes, I do make my own decisions. You assumed correctly, sir. I do make my own decisions. 
All right, very well. There are obstacles to our marriage. Should we consider ourselves engaged to be wed, I will organize a great feast and we can exchange our vows uh, before all of the realm, lords of the realm, if you are willing, that is. And I am willing. And now it's going to go into a cutscene, guys. I do believe. No, we have to speak to him once more. So we need to speak to him once more. Grown tired. Jeez, dude. It's been like two seconds. That's all. All right. Vows to take you as my husband. I do vow that. And now we have our little cutscene. Yay, we're getting married. Yay. It's just a necessary step that you need to take in the game, guys. I'm just kind of showing you how it all goes. So spoiler, spoiler alert. This is a... Uh, the marriage cutscene, it's pretty much the same with different people in it, <clears throat> depending on if you're a male or a female. I just hit the easy button and married one of my own companions, which I made a lord. We did all this in one week, and that was to just get the ball rolling on that whole aspect of it, because part of nobility is the marriage aspect, uh, you know. So, <clears throat> so now that's done. So, the banner sits over your husband and Artemenor of Tenel Cause. All right, so he has this castle now. We all married now. So now we should, I could communicate with him further, Artemenor, <clears throat> and we can conduct what it's going to take. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go back into the castle. We'll speak to Artemenor again, our husband. And I'll show you the next steps after that. You want to, you're going to have, we're going to have a quest, I believe. Okay. And so we want to um, let us discuss matters related to our household. Okay. Uh, let us, uh, let us, let us think of a way to improve our standing in the realm. Uh, what, uh, what was thinking that perhaps we could host a feast. All right. So let's hit that guys. Splendid idea. My wife. However, to not insult our guests, we must make sure that we can provide a large and variety of repose. The lords, their families, and their retinues all told. We should count on a couple of hundred mouths to feed over several days. Let us take an inventory of our household possessions. So our household possessions, guys, of food, <clears throat> which must uh, come before everything else. The amount is scant and the variety is scant, meaning we, we don't have anything in our storehouses. So let me add or remove items from storehouse. So now we can add things like, say, this fruit, um, some grain. We can add bread. Everybody likes bread, right? Right. Got some more fruit here. We need to go get some other items, say, like, olives, um, some spice, um, <clears throat> some different things. So if we go back, reevaluate what is there. Okay, so we need oils, we need spice, and we need food and a variety of it. Um, wine, not sure, or ale, uh, possibly. So getting some ale in here also would be great let us dispatch the invitations we don't want to do that until we have what we need but this is an example of what you can do guys let us wait then it's what we're going to do take an inventory of possessions uh speak to you later okay so there are other options too let's see we can speak to him privately we can speak to him about the household. We can give him troops. We can give him a new task. We can start a campaign. We can ask him something, say where somebody is, how the realm's doing, yada yada. So we we basically this is the other aspect of Mountain Blade guys, the political realm of things, holding feasts and stuff and inviting lords to them um, is just going to progress your re your relations with the lords. So, which is going to help you in the realm, because after all, you are the true ruler of Calradia, so you need to therefore <clears throat> reflect that and such by b being friendly, being sociable, being there on the battlefield, showing bravery and honest or honor uh, in leadership, 
it, it all kind of weighs in along with the natural gameplay of it, of it all. So that is how, guys, you make one of your companions a lord. And that is how you marry that said companion or marry a companion that that matter is. I can show you how you marry a lord. I think I've done it as a male lord before and you basically can take up one of the daughters of one of the fathers of a noble house say one of the other lords so a lord's daughter or what have you something to that extent um and some other options as well as far as when you're a male versus looking for a female versus a female looking for a male so with that being said, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, we'll see you later.